In this tutorial, we're gonna walk through how to prescribe corrective exercises. This time, we're gonna use a movement screen. This requires a web exercise account. And once you have the analysis done, in this case, we're gonna go ahead and show uh, a lateral view of a squat assessment. In other videos, we demonstrate how to do the assessments, but with the movement assessment on the overhead lateral squat, it identifies the possible overactive and underactive muscle groups. Um, and of course, you can go ahead and scrub through and, and show the clients um, their start and end positions, as well as the video. But here is what saves a uh, practitioner a lot of time. If we click exercises, at this point, of course we could go through and select manually what exercise to um, suggest to the patient or uh, client. But if we click suggested exercises, these are grouped specifically based on that lateral squat. Correctives that you can decide if they're applicable to your client or your patient based on their fitness level. So with this, we'll go ahead and select and we will go ahead and select a foam rolling one. And of course we can change sets and we can go ahead and change reps if we want to. And go, I'll go ahead and make this one daily as well too, okay? Based on this, I'm gonna go ahead and click done. Now, those are correctives that I can go ahead and have the client or patient do when they're outside the facility on their own time. If I wanted to scrub through and select something else, I could go through and say I wanted to add a core exercise. I could add more core exercises as well, um, or any sort of custom exercises. With that being said, if I wanna go back to the client <clears throat> and then begin to do a assessment on their posture, if I click their posture assessment and now click exercises, these assigned exercises came from their movement screen. If I click suggested exercises, if you have the CBP library and web exercise turned on for posture exercises, these are the mirror image exercise posture exercises for the client. So they do have a, a trunk shift to the left. We're gonna go ahead and do a corrective exercise to the right. I'm gonna have them do this daily. Now, we will go ahead and also do a prolordotic exerciser as well as an exercise for the lateral head flexion. Now we have a comprehensive exercise program that is ready to go and as soon as I click here I can go ahead and not only send the assessments but I can go ahead and send the exercises. I click send web exercises, click email exercises and now at this point in time what the client is going to get is they're going to get an email and when they open up that email with a link that's secure, that is only for their exercises, they are gonna get an exercise prescription that looks like this with your own branded content. So if we click through, in another uh, tutorial, we walk you through this as well as web exercise themselves shows you how to do this exercise program. But real quickly, if I wanted to, if I was the patient and I didn't know how to do an exercise, I could come down here and I can go ahead and click prone plank. And if I scrub through, it shows how to get in and hold and do that exercise in the video. So that's quite helpful for a clients to be able to see. If they didn't know how to do another exercise, we could go ahead and minimize this. And let's go ahead and do a McKinsey extension exercise and scrub through. And so it shows how to do that exercise. So not only do you have the documentation, you have a compliance with that client that they can do it and you can track it through the web exercise platform. If they come in, you can see that they did. They can log their sets and reps. Did they have pain? No. They could go through, did they have pain? Yes, they did. They only did a, a couple reps on this one. This one, no pain, and they did all of them, right? So they did this and they did all the reps. Okay, no, we, they did not have pain on that one. And we could say they skipped and they skipped. Now, what they can do is they can log the date and time that they did this. We did it now. We're gonna go ahead and record the session. And now, within your web exercise platform, you will see uh, the compliance of the client. Now, after a period of time with the correctives and with your interventions with the client or patient, you can then do a follow-up comparison with posture screen, squat screen, or lean screen. 
For more information, reach out to us at support at posturescreen.com. Thank you.